Hello everyone and welcome to Back to Code. Today I'm going to be introducing a new AI, a new integration to Unity um, done by Keihiro Takahashi. Um, he has done an AI command, that's how it's called, and it's an integration in Unity where you can put commands and it does what it tells you. Some, something like that. Um, it's a work in progress, but it's really promising and it really does a lot and it's great. Right now, it's not like you will be able to make a whole game with it, but you will be able to do simple things and, well, see its reach, see uh, how much it can do. So, well, this is a proof of concept project and, well, it's just something to have fun with and, and just try it out. So the first thing you're going to need to do is head over to his GitHub page. I'm going to leave a link in the description and just download the zip file of it. Put it wherever you want in your computer and extract it all. And then in the project, go to the Assets folder and copy the Editor folder. And you're going to paste it in your project in the Assets folder. So now head over to your project, go to Edit, Project Settings, AI command, and here you're going to have to put an API key. So let's explain where you get this API key from. To have an API key, you're first going to have to create an OpenAI account. So let's head over to OpenAI and sign up. You're just going to have to put your email or continue with Google, complete all the information, name, birthday, and stuff. Put your phone number, and they're going to send you a code for you to fill it in. So now, yes, let's create an open AI key. So just go to the link I'm going to leave in the description and click in the create key, put a name you want. I'm just going to put Unity integration and it's going to give you a secret key that you have to copy and save it somewhere safe. So when you saved it, just put done and let's head over to our project, edit, project settings and here to AI command and now we can paste our API key. Now it's really simple, just go to window and AI command and here you have a sample AI command that they give you, create 100 cubes at random, at random points and let's just try it out. If it doesn't work, just click run again, don't worry. So now you see how the 100 cubes have been created and it's really cool. It's just with one simple sentence, we have created 100 cubes in random places. Now let's, for example, change its position. Let's change it, um, change the transform position to y equals zero. So we run it and it is there. Now you can see that every cube is in zero and that's really cool. Now let's do something else. Let's change the color. So change color of cube game object to random color. And well, that's pretty cool really. So now let's create a plane. So what we can do is just create plane, add position. Let's put plane and game object. And, and x equals zero, y equals minus 10, and z equals zero. And as you see, it created it. And it's a little bit small, so we can change its scale, right?
change scale of plane game object to x10 y and z10 and there you have it simple as that it just works so let's try to generate script so this was something i thought perhaps would work but as i tried different things um it doesn't work you can't create scripts with this uh, perhaps in the future we will be able to but as the way it's implemented right now uh, i looked at it a little bit uh, deeper and it we and it won't be able to create scripts but if they implement if someday they implement it differently which obviously they it will probably very probably we will be able to create scripts So well, you see, it was able to create a script, but with nothing in it, and it was really complicated. So now I thought of creating children in the hierarchy, if, if it could do that, right? To think of created some uh, an object inside an object. So I said, well, create an empty game object, like child of cube. So when I do that, and I run it, I see that it's only in one cube this happened. So it created an, a child, so that's cool. So I said, okay, how do I make it of, in all cubes, right? So I said, okay, of cube, game object, and I said, let's put all. So I found this word, all, it works really well. I, if you wanted to do it in every single one, just put all and that will happen. Um, so, now I was thinking of adding a component, and what about an audio source, right? Let's put add component, let's say, to, to all empty child. Here I'm putting it between quotation marks because it will take it more literally. Add a component and what component I want to add? The audio source. So being really specific helps. It helps a lot. So that's what I did. And it worked. It actually worked. It was That was uh, really cool. So with any component you can do this. So if you want to add any type of component you just put the name of the component and just to who you want to put it and that's all. Well, I also tried in various ways to add an audio clip to our audio source and that was pretty impossible. Probably there is a way to do it, but I wasn't able to do it. Um, but well, I kept trying different stuff. So, well, to finish this video, I want to remark some things. So, number one, if you get a no reference exception with the first command, the example command of the 100 cubes, then if you want to keep um, not paying, if you don't want to pay, then you have to create a new account with a new phone number. That's important. And if not, you're going, and if you're paying or you're willing to pay, then you're going to have to start a subscription, right? Uh, I don't know how it's called, but yeah, I think it's a, like a subscription. Uh, well, you check your billing status. Apart from that, you could get errors with any command. And in this case, just run it a few times. Perhaps it works. It, the, same, the same exact command may, may not work and may work. So just run it a few times and just check if it works. And another thing, how to do these, these commands. What I have reached the conclusion is that you have to be really specific. Now, if you want to talk, for example, of all the cubes, of all, if you want to have it something general, then use the all word. That worked great for me. Now, if you want to go to a specific one, use the quotation marks with the name and say, just put the name of the qu in, in between quotation marks and put game object and that will work fine. Um, what else? The nomenclature. It's really important that you know 
uh, how everything is called in Unity, so it will be able to detect everything more easily. Now, for example, component. If you want to add a component, say add component. If you want to add a sp some specific component, put the name of that component. And things like that to help it. If you want to put in a, a position, uh, just put the x equals zero, the x equals whatever you want. And well, and if you want something random, well, then use the word random and that will work great. And well, those are my tips. If you find any other things that you find useful, then just leave them in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.